Passing GCSE maths will provide a good base for a wide variety of careers as well as being helpful in so many other areas of life. While many consider maths to be a difficult subject, with the right teaching and preparation it can be one of the easier subjects to do well in. As it's not based on the subjective opinion of an examiner like some other subjects are. So how do you pass GCSE maths? Here are some tips to give you the best possible chance of doing well in your exams. Don't wait until it's too late because maths builds on previous learning, don't wait until your exams are on the horizon before you ensure you understand each topic. Putting some effort in throughout the time you are studying GCSE maths will help you to build a good foundation of understanding which will make revising for the final exams much easier. If you find you are struggling to keep up in class or with your homework, make sure you let your teacher or parents know. The longer you leave it the harder it will be to catch up, and your teachers are there to make sure you are prepared for your GCSEs so don't be afraid to ask for more help if you need it. Supplementing with an online maths tutoring program like Bluetic can also help you to work on the areas that you're struggling with as you go along. The AI system provides you with real-time feedback as you are working, so as well as correcting mistakes as you go along you can also find out if there is an easier or better way of doing a specific calculation. Practice with past maths GCSE papers. Doing past papers can be invaluable in preparing for your GCSE maths exams. As well as giving you practice in doing maths calculations, it will also help you to become more familiar with how questions are phrased. You'll realize where your weak spots are in terms of understanding the questions as well as where your knowledge is lacking in terms of the curriculum itself. Becoming more familiar with tackling exam papers will also make you less nervous when it comes to the real thing, as you'll be more used to just getting stuck in. Have a plan. You will always benefit from having a proper revision strategy in place. Take a look at everything that is included in the maths curriculum and map out a plan that gives you enough time to go through each topic before for the exam. Allow time for revising the topics, learning any theory you need and practicing with past papers. If it helps you to stay motivated, you could also include rewards for each time you finish a section. Don't be daunted by the prospect of your GCSE maths exams. By putting these tips into practice you may find that passing GCSE maths is much easier than you first thought. The same revision schedule one used to get an A asterisk in GCSE maths a year early. It can be used by any GCSE, I GCSE maths student, regardless of the examining body. It covers the new UK GCSE Maths Specification 9 to 1, released in September 2015. The fatal mistake thousands of students make in their maths revision and how you can avoid it. The most important area of your revision yet it goes widely unnoticed. This is where the A, A asterisk grades are achieved. Three unique memory retention techniques you can use to remember all you need to know for your exam. What process to follow a few days before your exam and why there is no need to do any past papers at this point. A simple technique that will allow you to spend up to 50% of your time doing the things you enjoy. How to revise for all your other GCSE exams and achieve a top grade in each one. Tips on how to score up to 100% in your exam. A neat little trick to eliminate stress and anxiety on exam day. How to enter the exam if you're a private candidate with a tip on saving on the entry cost. Over 8 hours of video footage of me going through the trickiest exam questions of the syllabus 30 of the greatest shortcuts ever discovered in GCSE maths. Use them to solve questions quicker and look like a genius in front of your peers and teachers. Watch these video tutorials as many times as you like, in the comfort of your own home. This guide builds on from all of the exam questions in the main program. It contains all of the areas a typical student would drop marks on. By being aware of these areas, you'll achieve nearer the 100% mark let alone your target grade. Up until now, I gave this guide exclusively to students I tutored in my local area but today I am giving it to you for free. This guide is crucial, especially in the last few weeks of revision when you need something easy to refer to. 
My 6-step formula for GCSE exam success. Achieve a top grade in all your GCSE exams whilst spending half of your time doing the things you enjoy. I explain why note-taking is not the way forward and how it can have adverse effect on grades. Why working back to front actually boosts results in the long run. Hashtag student reviews, I followed his approach and achieved 90% in my next sitting. I thought it was a fluke so I put it to the test again. The result 100%. After many failed attempts, I almost packed in my GCSE maths altogether. But fortunately I didn't thanks to Jeevan's guide. When I read it, I found out exactly where I was going wrong all this time. I followed his approach and achieved 90% in my next sitting. I was shocked and I thought it was a total fluke so I put his strategy to the test again. This time, I got 100%. Fantastic. If only I came across Jeevan's strategy sooner. Sim G, Hillingdon, West London.